Now I want to show that this e of i squared is actually a function of w opt of i. Let me rewrite this function. w opt to i here, w opt to i, and w opt to i here. So clearly we see that this e of i squared is a function of w opt to i. From your math education, you may recall this function fx equals ax squared plus bx plus c which is a quadratic function and this function generates a parabola x a b c are real numbers when a is greater than zero we have this function which is parabola and it's convex function and when a is less than zero we have this function which is concave function so when a is greater than zero we can use gradient descent method to find out this x opt. Let's say you start from here and you find the slope. And if the slope is negative, you move your x opt candidate in the positive direction. And if the slope is positive, then you move your x opt candidate in the negative direction. And if you keep doing this, you may reach this x opt. If you go back to our function, of x opt i we know that this is a vector it's not a, a single value but let's consider this vector as x just like x here then this becomes x this also corresponds to x and this corresponds to x and this value here corresponds to c which is this one here and this corresponds to b which is here and this corresponds to a this part is actually matrix you have column vector multiplied by row vector this is column vector and this is row vector so you get a matrix if this matrix is positive definite then our function is convex function strictly convex function and if, if our function is convex function, then you can use gradient descent method to find out this w opt of i. And for that, we need to find out slope, which is d e of i squared d w opt of i. We are differentiating e of i squared with respect to w opt i, which is vector. So I need to also talk about this matrix vector differentiation a little bit in order to find this slope.